First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. And I want to say Shalom unto the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom unto you. And it said, But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Now, this is out of Yahweh's mouth. And you know, as we see a lot of scoffers, a lot of scoffers always been there, but it's just now it's being made more manifest. And you see that one of the biggest scoffers died, you know, soon as the new year came in, you know. So the Lord, he's showing that this is destruction season as Apostle Tahar named this year, the year to turn up. The Lord going to turn up. Esau going to turn up. And if you ain't in the right spirit, and if you ain't got a covering of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, your ass is grass, all right? Because see, it all the laughing and scoffing and funny games, what you still going to continue to do to the Lord judge you? But you got to understand, you know, rap the news, you know, the ones who have died, the ones who are sick. You know, so the, let's speak about rap, right? He's in the spirit world right now. He's chilling. So you have to understand that you are still here talking about his followers coming on great millstone boards, talking shit. All right. Still scoffing. Didn't bring no fear to you, you know, but this is what's going to happen to you. You want to talk about. Oh, it ain't no, ain't no Yahweh Shai. You want to scoff at his name. All right. And then you claim that you, um, you know, you worship the existing one. Well, the existing one have a name. Then you want to call him Yah. What do that mean? Huh? So anyway, I'm just going to get stick to the lesson. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right. So. Yahweh Shai, you either be on his good side or you're going to be on his bad side. And only the remnant is on his good side. All right. But see, you shouldn't marvel at these things. But the scripture said, mark those who cause divisions. All right. So you have to put a scope on them. All right. Because you are scattering the flock. You are leading the sheep astray and you're going to pay for it. All right. So. But this was prophesied that this was going to happen. So let's read about it. So Simeon, which was a just, you know, was a just man. All right. And he was old. He was up in age. So when you go up in this chapter, you know, the Lord said that, you know, he wasn't going to die before he see his salvation, which is Yahweh Shai before. So he. So he basically, Yahweh Shai had to be born before he died. All right. So he was a just man and devout man. So it's saying, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against, you know, the builder, which, the, you know, the stone that they rejected. All right. The stone which they rejected is the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, where also they were appointed, as it's saying, James. All right. Or is it first Peters? I can't remember right now. But yeah, they were they was appointed. That matter of fact, it's first Peters, too. Yep. So anyways, so. He was set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. All right. And why do I say again? Because back then you had people who believed, which was a very um, low number compared to those who didn't believe. And then, as the scripture says, he told Jeremiah, all right, that you was going to lose your heritage and go into a land and serve your enemies. All right. And guess what? This time. This right now, right now, as we speak, this is the again us coming back to the earth. 
All right. Walking in our lots. You still got the same scoffers from back then. 444, call all your how about you, me over shy. You still got the same scoffers from back then. All right. So they just doing the same thing again. You the same ones that said, let his blood be on us and our children. Because you wanted to save Barabbas instead of the savior of the Lord. I said savior of the Lord, <laughs> savior of the world. All right. So, and that's talking about the world of Israel. So, it says, yeah, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And as you see, when you go on the comment boards and you click on people's videos that follow Raptor News and IUIC, they all, their minds, which is that's what heart is, their minds are being revealed. They're showing their true intent. That's why. Disciple John said, try, don't trust every brother, but try the spirit. Don't trust every spirit, but try the spirit. All right. To see if he a man of the Lord. All right. The first thing that a man, this is how you know that a man is really the man of the Lord. If he actually follow the word and what it says, because you got some people who use the name Yahweh Shai. But scriptures talks about how some preach Yahweh Shai for envy and strife. And that's Sakari right there. All right. So guess what? A sword should pierce, pierce through your soul. All right. Because guess what? That's what's going to happen to you. Judgment. And so you're fitted for judgment because you continue to do what you want to do. You don't want to do what the word says. You don't want to reverence the son. And that's in the scripture clearly said that that's how you worship the father. You got to worship the son to worship the father. First Timothy's two and five says that he is the mediator. All right. We need a mediator. Why do we need a mediator? Jeremiah three and eight said that he divorced us. All of us. He divorced us. The Northern Kingdom first, which consists of the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. All right. And then Judah played the harlot also. Played the harlot also. He divorced them. All right. So Yahweh Shai had to come on the cross to reconcile us back. Reconcile to make a friend again. All right. So he is set up for the rise and falling. Of many in Israel. And as you see, you got the right man who's rising and these scoffers that's fallen and one just failed. All right. So. And then you got people talking about. We don't know the name. That ain't the name. But uh, but the scriptures say otherwise, I say henceforth, I call you not servants for the servant know of not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all the all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. Now we're going to jump to, um, you know, chapters over because we're going to see what the Lord have made known unto us from from the father. All right. And it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and adorn, ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Another thing, too. So who the hell are you praying to? If we, Like, this is the thing that bothers me. The all like the from the from the Old Testament, the, Apoc the Apocrypha, New Testament, all it always talks about the name. First of all, the scriptures talks about how the name should be glorified. How can you glorify somebody if you don't know their name? How can you ask in the name of the Father and it shall be given unto you, but you don't know the name? That's how bugged out people is. That's how really bugged out people are. Like real simple things that, you know, but like I said, the Lord, hey, this is the Lord's movie. This is his show. And hey, these are the same re retards that walked the earth in the ancient time. All right. Man, it, 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 I'm telling you, even though I know the scriptures, man, it, this is marveling. It, like it actually makes the Lord to be feared even more if you didn't fear him. 
All right. And I'm talking about you scoffers out there because it's really crazy. That's why the scriptures say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Because <laughs> you're you're the man that you put up on a pedestal that you're treating like an idol. You know what I'm saying? He died. You had a comment on Elder Yashawamba video talking about uh, it'll be a righteous thing if he rise up the third day. You talking about this man, man, that's why the Lord going to kill y'all, man. It's just that simple. But it said, ye shall ask of the father in my name and he shall make, he may give it to you. So you got to know the name, man. And the Lord said this. So let, let's get it. He said that we are his friends. We are not servants because we know what our master do. And in Amos 3 and 7, it said that he doeth nothing unless he reveal his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Hmm. So it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou hast given me. And that's the one thing that you need to understand. You're just not the Lord's. On this go around, you're not the Lord. You're going to have to come back through the elect. I hope to be a man of the Lord. We all preaching. We all trying to be as diligent as we can to make our calling and election sure. Right now, we can say we are on the right track. But Yahweh Shah said those who endure to the end. So you could be on the right track all you want to. We coming into hard times. We come in into peerless times. And if you lack faith, you will not be defended, as the Lord said. But. As the scripture said, he said, I have manifest thy name unto the men that thou's given me. So that means that the Lord didn't give you to his son. Yahweh did not give you to his son, Yahweh Shah. So go kick rocks. And it says, out of the world, gives me out of the world. And that word world is. It's cosmos, which talks about an order government, an order arrangement. And what is the arrangement? That Yahweh Shah was going to die for the sins of Israel and the elect first. All right. And through the elect, the two thirds will be saved. That's why in Isaiah 1 and 9 said that if he ain't leave us a small remnant, we will be as Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Totally destroyed. Our people will be totally destroyed. The people that talk shit against the prophets. You should be happy. But then, but like I said, we don't get glory on this side. You know? But this is just what this is just what the job consists of. So it says, Thy they were, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and thy and they have kept thy word. That's why I ain't no men of the Lord, the real men of the Lord budging. All the fiery darts. That the man of the Lord gets on a daily basis, we still keep his precepts, man. That's the only thing that we got. And it says, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. So the Lord manifests all these things. You think he ain't going give to give us his name? Nate, who got a two hour video of going into the name. You took the Judas purse. You, you made a covenant with death. And guess what? The scripture say never trust thy enemy. You think you in good case. You a Hebrew Israelite. They going to fuck you up too. The Lord going to make sure they, they do you good. Because that's, that's who your master is. All right. Esau Edom and his money. You really sold the name for, for this currency that's about to turn into the Karagma. All right. For I have given unto them the words which thou givest me. And they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. So at the end of the day, as the uh, the second set of scriptures that I read, that he was made to be the, the rise and fall of many in Israel. Y'all are the fallen ones. <laughs> OK, you know, we all are the fallen ones, you know, the sons of God, Genesis six. But. Y'all are the ones that's still falling right now. See, we're being risen up. All right. Y'all is just y'all just falling, man. And y'all can't get up. And y'all going to eat a missile. And it said, and they received them and have known surely that I came from thee and thou have believed that thou just sent me. I pray for them. I pray now for the world. See, 
you can use the scripture on an unlearned person. Like if you want to use the scripture on an Edomite, you don't even have to really go into the word cosmos. You can just say, look, the Lord said, wait a minute, John 3.16 said that, you know, he gave the world his only begotten son. Whoever believe him shall not perish but have everlasting life. All right. But John 17 and 9 said, out of your house, I might say, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So a man that's unlearned, you could just say, look, he only talking about Israelites, which he is. But to get deeper, he's only talking about the elect right here. You got to understand when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, people reject him. His own people reject him. His own people deliver him up to the Romans to be killed. That's why he said, I pray for them, the believers of Israel. I pray not for the world, but for them that which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. How can you glorify him without the name? I, I I don't know, man. That's that's. I ain't even gonna get Acts four and twelve. Come on, man. Only one name under heaven where a man must be saved. Like, come on. But even for the people who don't believe in the Old Testament, matter of fact, I'm gonna do a video on that. Lord willing, that's gonna be my next video. Uh, Yahweh Shai prophesied in the Old Testament, man. Come on, for you Old Testament believers. The prophet, the prophecy always prophesied about uh the son to come. So anyway, it say now thanks be unto the Most High, which always causeth us to triumph in Hamashiach, and maketh manifest the Savior of His knowledge by us in every place, for we are unto the Most High a sweet Savior of Hamashiach, and them that are saved, and in them that are perished. And how do we know that we saved? If we keep this word and we keep the faith to the end. So Paul is basically prophesying that the ones who actually really are going to take heed to your name and do what uh what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh say to the best of their ability, they already saved. See, the victory is already written. We just got to play it out. But the scriptures also say that we are prisoners of hope. So that's why humbly, you know, we trust in him to guide our steps. So it says, for we are unto the most high, sweet savor of Hamashiach and them that are saved and in them that perish. This sun is the rise of many and the fall of many in Israel again right now. All right. To the one we are savor of death unto death <laughs> and to the other a savor of life unto life. Who is sufficient for these things? All right. So, look, Yahweh Shai is going to be a savior for death unto death. That's unto you scoffers. Or a savior unto life unto life, which is us that we hope to be. All right. And it said, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of the most high. And there's so many of y'all out there. But as of sincerity, but as of the most high in the sight of the most high, we speak we Hamashiach. So, at the end of the day, man, scoffers, you have a lot. This is your lot. You're playing it out. And guess what? All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for those who have received the name, have received his word, have received the mysteries, all right? Because they are the ones that's actually giving um, Israel a chance to be saved. See, the Lord sent down the Holy Spirit on those who have the savor unto life. And now, matter of fact, let me end it on this because I, I quoted it. But y'all don't understand how significant this really is. If this didn't happen, Israel would be destroyed. Except Yahweh of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I have a true prophet out here that believe on his name, that teaches the name. And then through that, men woke up and now they trying to make their um, calling election sure. All honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.